Hello everyone and welcome to my first reaction to Secret Invasion. I am so, so, so excited for this. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of, I guess, updates. You know, most of you guys who follow my channel, you guys know where I am in the Marvel movie journey. I'm trying to play catch up um, with a lot of the more recent uh, Marvel films. I spent the entire spring doing a Spider-Man spring where I watched the Tobey Maguire movies and then the Andrew Garfield movies and then I watched No Way Home. It was really exciting, but that is the last movie I have seen. Um, so there's a, still a few more that I need to catch up on. And I had to take a break after doing that because I had surgery. Um, and I'm technically still in recovery, but I'm I'm feeling okay. Some days are better than others. But uh, yeah, so just so you guys know where I'm at with that, if there's like a little Easter egg or something going on that happens or that's referring to any of the movies that I haven't watched yet, you don't really have to point it out or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say that. But I'm really, really excited about this. I feel like I really would, I, I love getting back to the character of Nick Fury in general. I'm gonna let you guys know what I know about this. If you, you know, watch most of my reactions, you guys know that I don't watch trailers to things because I just like to go in fresh, you know. Um, but I do know, I think Amelia Clark is in this. Um, obviously, <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson is in this, Nick Fury. I think it has to do with scrolls. Um, I did re-watch Captain Marvel to prep for this because I assumed that that was going to be sort of relevant. And uh, yeah, I think that's about all I know. And I'm just really excited to get into it. Let's go. Yes. I'll be right there. Don't move. Oh, hey! Imagine a world where information can't be trusted. Not very hard, is it? The ones closest to us. The ones we've trusted our whole lives. We're someone else entirely. Same people are behind all of this? Not people. A tiny handful known to live on Earth. That's barely enough to... To what? You have no goddamn idea what you're talking about, Ross. Oh! This guy is passionate. And might be dead on the money. The trees, shall we? Just yes. Like... He's on saver. Yeah, and if I'm going to bring him down for, for whatever the hell this is, I need to give him something more than just theories. I need evidence. Sure. This is the one. It sets the world on fire. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Station six blocks northeast. Hi, Maria. Love her. Jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit! 
I was wondering why the fight occurred in the building earlier. Like, seemingly out of nowhere. Woo! Let's go! <gasps> Olivia Coleman! Oh, and Don Cheadle! So excited for this. All right. Welcome back to Earth. Aww. It's changed since you planted it. It's adapted to the planet. Oh. You always believed that was possible. I am so sorry. Oh. Me too. So I loved you. But she worries me that it would take something like this to bring you back to Earth. And, and so did Gaia. Oh, your daughter disappeared to where? Graphic, mate. He took your abandonment that much harder. Cool. Okay. Gravik is now the newest member of the Scroll Council. Well, Gravik's trying to start a war between Russia and the United States. And that was Prescott's theory. And he's going to use this bomb to do it. If he succeeds, um, your species will cease to exist. <laughs> Whew! This is heavy. We have Mr. President. Concern? Aging Fury. Oh, man, you have to say. Ah! Well, I'm excited to think of it. Different word, abandoned, departed. They are effectively a wall. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness! What in the fuckery? <laughs> Nick Fury, or the ghost of Paul Robeson? Okay, go ahead, take the hood off. Ah. Oh my goodness! Performance of Old Man River. Were you not extraordinary? Oh, you should only scratch the surface of mediocrity. You must be finally putting it all together. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna love her. Do you have some sort of clock fetish that you've been keeping from me all these years? Oh! You know, I may not know when a scroll is pretending to be a human, but I sure as hell know when a human is lying. You know damn, damn. Well what was in that storage vault. The fact that you didn't see them coming means you haven't a hope in hell of seeing Gravik and his rebels coming. Which makes you, as a partner, rather pointless. I let your damn. Man me so I could get to you. What do you want? Home in my own skin. Take your natural form. Welcome to New Skrullovs. Okay. Thank you. You are very welcome. I have a suspicion that that might be his daughter. Although I guess you could take form of anybody. I was thinking like age-wise and maybe that doesn't make sense. You can like take the form of like anybody. That's so funny. Nice. I did never mind. <laughs> the warriors keep our human form. The longer we attach to our shells, the less likely we can be identified by humans and scrolls alike. Okay. What's behind that? Victory. Oh! Your dreams are about to come true. Take his face. Now take his mind. She sees an ugly ass squirrel like you, then she goes into honey mode. I'm considered good looking, you know, it's my kind of. Thing. Well, I know a bunch of good looking squirrels, you ain't one. Okay, great. <laughs> Look, Robbie knows that mercy's your weakness. 
Gotta be proven wrong. What's that in my six steps? Not bad for a 136 year old. <laughs> uh, what you get for your cause? The Avengers. Hmm. <laughs> that just belonged to Louis the Fifteenth. It's priceless. Uh, everything is priceless till it gets blown to bits in a hail of bullets. Ooh. Aiden Keller. Anything that I found sure. about this one having a wife? Well, probably. Oh. But not right now. Ah, oh boy! Scrub, maybe Thanos. I got this. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's my I said no. Yeah. Oh boy. Three young people. Oh, damn. I said no. Oh. Oh, boy. Where you always say, but there's always another. <gasps> oh, I was right. Give me the bombs. No. I know you're angry. She's dead. Oh. Why did you ask? The people that you work for. <gasps> you know that I'll protect you. You can't. Protect anyone. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Shit. So why'd you come back? It followed me up there. And I owe it to Talos. You always told me there is no shame in walking away when the steps are uncertain. So check your footing. Otherwise someone's gonna get hurt. Maria is serving a slight possible dose of reality. Ooh. Maybe we postpone the strike. And to the contrary, thanks to you, we have the bait. Ooh, interesting. Whew. Thanks for coming to see me. You don't see me because I'm not here. I understand. You're taking a risk. Is that what you explained to Mum? That following you could get her killed? Your mother died while you were working for her killer. Ooh! So do not take me down that road, Gaia. I'll mark each back with infrared spray. Okay. Guys, paint it ours with infrared spray. Infrared Are we go. sure? Oh, we can trust her. I'm just asking. I know we want to. We missed the pass. Oh, 
Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way! Oh my god. I did see that she wasn't like in the, the like intro and I don't know I just thought you know that like maybe she's just in one episode you know the thing about Maria Hill she kind of just pops up like you know and that makes me so upset I love her okay Wow. All right. Um, whoo, what an ending. Uh, I thought it was a great first episode. I thought it was really, uh, it is interesting to, uh, kind of know more about the plot of what's going on. You know, I did say at the beginning of this reaction that I knew, um, that we were probably going to be dealing with scrolls, but I didn't, uh, it was interesting because I didn't really know exactly what, it, the reasoning behind obviously it's called secret invasion and you're dealing with scrolls so you, you get some idea of what we might be dealing with but I didn't entirely know um you know what is the reasoning and these are you know people who are fed up and they want their own home they want all of that and I'm wow um really establishing quite a threat like right off the bat um i do love that uh we have uh don Cheadle in in the main cast as well i hope to see a lot more of him i'm sure we will that's going to be really really exciting i didn't know that um and you know it's it's always great in my opinion seeing um you know samuel l jackson uh, working with a, a lot of people, but I love his his uh, scenes with with Ben, um, specifically Talos. I I really um, like them together. Uh, and I did just uh, rewatch Captain Marvel and and all of that. So I um, which I really enjoy that movie. I know it gets a lot of like. I guess not hate, I was some criticisms or whatever, but I enjoyed it when I, you know, went to go see it the first time. I enjoyed it on a rewatch as well. But, um, I, I, oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like talk about the episode, but that ending is like really sticking with me, but I'm trying not to think about it. Um, oh my goodness. All right. It was so funny. I, my initial thought that Amelia Clark's character would be, you know, Talos, his, his daughter. And then I was like, I literally had a moment of like that because I was like, oh, the ages match up, right? Like, you know, if you think about, you know, how old she was, let's not even factor in the, the idea that one scrolls age differently, I think, I believe. But also, <laughs> that they can shift into, like, anybody, you know, it doesn't have to be somebody your exact age or whatever, and I felt very stupid. I felt very stupid. I was like, you know, I suspect that might be his daughter, and then I was like, that's, that's really dumb. That is really dumb. All of your evidence to suggest that is not really there, but then it ended up being true, so maybe I'm not that dumb. It was still a dumb thought to have, but... <laughs> But that was kind of kind of interesting. I'm really intrigued by what's going to be going on with her character. I was worried that, you know, when she says, you know, the bags are going to be marked and this, that, and the other thing that I don't know that that's, you know, actually what's going to take place, given the fact that it seems like she's got a lot of animosity towards her dad. She's got a lot of, um, 
you know, uh, just a lot of time apart, being a part of this, believing in this mission and, and everything, I didn't really think that it was going to be as easy as her, you know, um, possibly finding out more uh, about what happened with her mom. I feel like if she really wanted to know the truth or to, you know, she would have asked more questions, maybe. I don't know. But uh, genuinely, I, so I was suspicious with that. Um, and the element of these, you know, um, the scrolls can shapeshift into to anybody. And, you know, obviously, as we see at the end, that can have really horrible consequences with, um, Maria and uh, so upset about that. I'm so upset about that because I was like really excited to see her and I was like, well, maybe she'll get like a, you know, like maybe we'll get a good spotlight on her and everything. So that just like, oh, it just really upsets me. But it, it's a really, really interesting, um, just plot point. Um, and it, it makes this whole rest of the season is going to be very, very challenging. Um, love seeing Olivia Coleman in anything. I don't care if she's, you know, uh, going to be a pain in the ass for Nick Fury. I can't wait. <laughs> you know what? Oh my goodness. There is just some actors or actresses that you just love seeing. She's one of them. And uh, so can't wait for that. Uh, hopefully there's a lot more of her going forward um, in, a, in a good light, in a bad light, in a, you know, in between light. I don't know, but um, I'm excited about that. Um, I'm really excited about this show in general. I thought it was a decent first episode, but uh, I gravitate a lot. And you know, those of you who have watched me, watch my Marvel reactions for a long time, you guys already know this about me. I gravitate towards the characters that don't necessarily have special abilities. Does that make sense? Like, you know, um, my, my two favorite Avengers are you know Clint and Sam uh and I I one of my favorite you know Marvel characters ever 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 is Melinda May I love just very skilled people that don't necessarily have powers that'll and I like those stories too and they're like some of the best stories of the MCU and everything like that I know we're dealing with scrolls here but like I love, you know, um, I love to watch the Maria Hills and the Nick Furies and all of them that I just, I feel like are just really impressive. And it's, I, they might be a little bit of like an underdog energy when, you know, you have other stories kind of being focused on the likes of like Thor or you know, the Captain Marvel and like these really super, super powerful people. And they're great. I love them. Wonderful. But I, I do tend to gravitate towards those characters. So I have been very, very excited about this for a while. And I'm really, really happy that it's here. I am not happy about how that ended. I'll, I'll say that. Was, oh. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. But, you know, I went into this kind of really being excited to see Nick Fury again and, and to see, you know, how he was going to take down this secret invasion. And, and I, it, it seems like he has his work cut out for him. We'll just say that. All right. Um, I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.